U.S. President Donald Trump and President-elect Joe Biden were headed to Georgia Monday to make their final pitch ahead of high-stakes elections that will determine control of the U.S. Senate and the likely fate of President-elect Joe Biden's legislative agenda. Who's going up to Dalton to welcome President Trump to Georgia? The final push by both the incoming and outgoing presidents underscores just how important both Senate races are. Incumbent Republican Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler are battling to hold their seats and secure GOP control of the Senate. The whole country is watching Georgia voters. Respective challengers Democrats John Ossoff and Reverend Raphael Warnock need to win both seats to produce a 50-50 split in the Senate, with Vice President-elect Kamala Harris holding the tie-breaking vote. The campaigns have obliterated spending records and early voting has shattered runoff records records, with three million ballots already cast. Biden's narrow victory in Georgia in the presidential race helped put the traditionally red state in play for Democrats. Black turnout critical to the Democrats' chances has been robust. About one-third of the early ballots have come from self-identified black voters. They know when we vote, things change. Ahead of Tuesday's twin runoff elections, big names have flocked to Georgia. This is a dogfight down here to join candidates as they fan out across the state, with the exception of Senator Perdue, who has been absent after being exposed to someone infected with the coronavirus. Trump's visit on Monday has some Republicans concerned. Over the weekend, the president was heard in a recording on a telephone call published by U.S. media, pressuring Georgia's top election official to, quote, find enough votes to overturn his defeat, blaming without evidence that fraud cost him the vote. The president's claims have some worried that his most ardent supporters may stay home, convinced the vote is rigged. If close, the results could remain unclear for days as ballots are counted and legal challenges could prolong the process. The GOP needs just one victory. If either Leffler or Purdue win, the GOP will retain its Senate majority and the ability to block Biden's most ambitious goals. Um.